Hi everyone and welcome back to part two of our two-part video series where we explain how you can prepare for an SAP audit. In the first video, we explained which documents and which information will be sent to you by the auditor. And in this part two, we will get into a system demo of the main measurement tools that you can use for an SAP audit. So let's get started. The USMM transaction is the main transaction when we talk about system measurement on ABAP systems. There you will be able to modify which type of system you're working on, if productive or development, change the client type that you're working on, and even change the price list and user types which you're using on the system. You will also be able to see a list of valid users and their user types and further information which are working on your systems. Finally, obviously for the system measurement, there's a button called system measurement. This will open up a web UI where you can start the system measurement, view the background jobs as they're running, and finally export either an LAW file for the consolidation or the USMM measurement log in a PDF form. So let me show you how you can consolidate multiple systems using the LAW tool. The LAW tool can be used to consolidate multiple system measurements into one. To do so, Simply click on Import System Measurements. You can also upload multiple system measurements in a zip folder and click Next. Here, you will be able to set the consolidation criteria. You can either choose usernames, accounting numbers, emails, first name, last name, or a combination of any of those. Here, you can click on Display User Data to get a more detailed view on which users were consolidated during this action. If this is all correct, you can click on Next. In this step, you will be able to start the consolidation for engines. Once you've done so, all results will be visible in the table on the right. You can now click on Next. This step is mainly for internal audits if you want to take a look at the user distribution across all systems. For an SAP audit, you can now click Next. Here, you will be able to view the results in a PDF format if you want to simply download them or view them for internal audits, or you have the option to actually send them to SAP securely to make sure the auditor receives the information correctly. This concludes our video on the ABAP-based measurement tools. If you need further information on other measurement tools, such as LMB Alpha Business Objects, we have included a separate link in the description below to the support portal where more information can be looked for. Until then, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.